Huskar. All right. Oh. That was a huge factor. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll we'll see how it goes in this one, of course, for Ninja And Mugen. Sirius are really trying to open up. Ninja Lion's already got the split earth leveled up. And Destiny's got the control on Reggie Potato. He started this. And he's going to help to end it. And actually, he does end it himself. <laughs> so you have the curse against his BKB. And you have the cold embrace against whoever he jumps. So oh, they're coming up the Firefly. Yeah, yep, Reggie dead. Potato staying with him. He's actually holding everything he's got. Not a lot of man to work with. So uh, let Moon... And Ninja Boogie do the rest of the work while up on top. Now it's Destiny's turn to rotate up. The Warcry did come off, but Ajit has already burned off. He's trying to get back to the tier one tower, but Destiny and this guy as an armor bug, he's always in the way, having to commit the storm hammer. But Silas got oh, there got and he gets the root under the tier one tower. At this point, you know you're dead as a Sven. Well, they when when are they called tomato potato? Where is it that is? Uh it was it, it was it was listed right someone found it over on reddit by the way moon died uh, he goes yashikaya and he goes uh, boots of travel relatively early on compared to other shracks mm -hmm. this hero with 550 move speed is a god oh, moon that's indeed it is so good he was really going after destiny now in july hits the secondary split earth and uh moon pushes him away with the inner fire oh, he nice. jumps back out to the creeps and range potato spear buys a little bit more space and the other pushback moon knows he's out of life the centaur stuns it actually catches out two asd included in this but he didn't take much damage so just keeping up, Rage Potato diving under the tower ASD to get the kill on him. And a rebuttal, well, that's a quick bounce back. Also the Huskar, right? Breaking off the Berserker's blood. Jump forward. Limit that regen and attack speed. Actually, counter-initiated on him. He was the one that was meant to start in the TA, but defensive refraction charges just keep him alive. Now Rod of Aetos, hold him in as Ninja Boogie trying to move himself away from in July and the rest of the fighters. Like, well, they'll find Silas Bear. So this is the only thing that Vineski have come close to killing recently. Silo wants to help out with a Savage Roar. They get some distance. Now Rage Potato finds the real one. Pins him up against the wall. Is there another follow-up? They committed a lot already into the bear. The bear is pretty low, so Potato will kill that off. Moving for his next target. If he oh, can get the stun, but now here comes the curse. Yeah. And it's poor Chen. Nothing that Ninja Boogie can do apart from die with a follow-up stun because there wasn't any way to back up while the River ASC is having his own little bit of a battle. But you're going to lose your bigger hero. Uh, yeah, they have me under control. At least maybe now the fight. Nope, you've already lost Rage and Potato. Yeah. And the Storm Boss only control ASD for the moment. He keeps playing around these refractions and he knows he's got a secondary life. So no reason to back off. It's that TA trap. Slow down Ninja Boogie. Ninja Lion brings that Lashrak damage. Yeah, it's, it's when you're... It, oh, it's rough. It's Battle it's for the room. Rough, Spy Carapace quickly up and so is the wall. And Destiny, you know, he got a triple stun with his own impel. They'll miss the spear and in July's already rotated over. They're rotating him from above as well. So Raging Potato will burn to in July's roll a shrack. A quick curse allows for a reset up. And then it's all over towards KP. Kill off that Necrophose. He's got his ulti off cooldown in one second, but no one is anywhere near in any... Yeah, that doesn't even matter. Just yeah. to make him work for it, but Maneski, this is the fight they really want to have. And is this the turning points we've seen so many times during this competition? In July, the primary target pushed up against oh. the wall. ASD's caught just on the edge with the curse. Huska is locked in. This is such a waste of an arena. And Moon, they're all burning down to the pulse nova. The savage draw, forcing Maneski unwillingly to turn and run away. But Huska can't do that. The rod of Atos will hold him in position. Maybe he can toggle his way to victory through all of this while Boogie helps in the tree lines. The destiny is back. He's looking for the stun and the Root control from Silas Bear will do that work. 48 seconds on the sideline. Another jump in. Archit, it's good cleave damage into Firefly as well as in July. One more attack will do it, but the cold embrace. He couldn't hit through that, but that's why KP's there to do it. I don't know what more he can actually do. Ninja Boogie's the sole survivor from Maneski. He can die. The oh, he's biggest, got Greaves ready. That's the biggest concern. Yeah, Greaves, they can get something back. Wall up for Raging Potato. At least push him back. They'll buy some space for KP. But they don't really have another follow up damage. Oh, Ajit, oh maybe with a storm ball. Hits on three, but the cold embrace. Once again, this Avengers cannot put any of that damage to work. GG is cold. The tier four towers won't even have to fall. This was a quick game. I would rather see more than you said. Well, that... there's your GG pick, but I. July here, Ninja Boogie is, of course, only level one. We'll try to TP out. That is not happening. Yeah. Not even close. Five Fly was right at all of him with the three sticky napalm stacks. He goes for a turnaround for a double stun. Ajit tries to create some space with his body, but it won't happen. In July, we'll claim the first blood and Firefly both inside the same game. Uh, spin in mid. ASD knows he doesn't do any kind of damage. And Moon's able to get a revenge kill the uh, Edict Impulse. Gives them the advantage earlier on. KP's in the world of hurt. As uh, the wolves help chase him down, but it's actually Destiny who gets the kill. What the Remove hell? the sentry ward to try it. Like, is, is this, is this going to be worth it? Everyone just backs up and a couple more hits from the wolves. One more attack from the Dazzle should help it, and that's it. A double kill for the Dazzle. Already running away. It's like completely different ideas. And now they do perfectly land the sun in mid. Even if Ninja Boogie does oh. get the sun. Oh boy! All right, if that's a little bit of a mindset of where Maneski is at.
Uh, why bull? You hate to, you why hate to bull? see it. He have the, has the helm of the dominator. Oh, yeah, take on a shapeshift. He's just instantly going up for the Grimstroke now. Grimstroke put out his own stun. What's side to do? Backs up. He's got the high movement speed. He actually runs back in range for the stun, but then focus down, killing off the Grimstroke in the trees. And Destiny has been giving the information on Ninja Boogie. Move from one support to the next. Any of the controls, make sure they're blocked in Destiny. I love this movement. It's like Sirius just know exactly how to play this map, play the small areas. Maybe don't play the Centaur stun, but uh, Ninja Boogie can't keep this run going. One more attack will do it. And Mineski, they, they have to find a way of getting level. This line is level two, minute nine, okay? Like, mm -hmm. he has absolutely nothing to contribute. The Grimstroke is level three. Their supports don't have games. They have to wait until minute 10, get these tomes up, so they have something to fight with. And Sirius are just, they just keep running at yep. them. Moon was gonna be forced to maybe Omni he's, Slash here. But if he Omni Slashes, like, he's still got not three heroes to bounce off. A quick shallow grave to ensure that ASD is going to survive through this yes, move with a spin. Is he going to get it? Yeah, he will. Moon, that's a huge kill for him to claim into oh, the trees, but Silas come over. So he's actually able to claim two of these kills. Will not be able to escape, but it's still uh, it's almost a thousand gold. I think he got for just that one kill while on bottom lane. Now Maneski going after in July. He'll lasso up. Is there a stun? Is there a control? Oh, it's burning. He has to actually pop the mirror image, dispelling as much as he can as ASD has now arrived back from the grave. Bought back, in fact, to be there in time. Go on, do, they know do that ASD is back here. They're going to find the Dazzle as well. Moon staying on top of him. It's a good start from Reggie Potato. So there's no shallow grave. Now he'll have it back up. But he uses it on himself. But the damage into Ashin. He has the song of the siren, but he'll die the pulse over. No, he's got the distance. So Dazzle dead in the trees. In July has arrived. TP's out. There is no lasso just yet. But Moon's got no way to escape. His TP's on cooldown. There's no fortification because they burned it on the tier twos. Now Moon jumps in. KP's already gone down. In July, Solo killed him on the top lane, cancelling his TP out. So they had to buy it back. It's like not like KP's got enough money as it is, but they have to fight. Firefly comes in deep, gets the break on Grimstroke, but the focus is the melee racks. TP coming in from In July. He's got BTs up, so he comes in the back of the catapult wave, which is what Sirius is just utilizing to bring down this melee racks. But they have to fight now, Maneski. They can't afford to lose it. It's already lost. The ensnare onto the Nyx Assassin, but the double stun. They can't move forward. In July's got so many sticky names. Bump stacks up on the back line with the flame break. He's doing so much damage. Moon has to go into the spin. The Sire's got the physical damage. All Sirius need to do is get themselves away from Mineski. They have hurt them so hard. Roche, because there's also the connection point for Roche, right? Hi, KP. Let's uh, see. He's found a friend. Okay. Quickly into the sandstorm. Sentry and Sentry. In July, go jump four. Gets the lasso. The stun will not hit in time, but they will oh get a soul by. But woohoo! Ah, oh, KP. You can't survive that. Raging Potato as well. This is meant to be. Like some level of control, uh, Jit can just put them to sleep. How come he didn't sing earlier? So oh, they're trying try to smoke play. Yeah, they're coming around the back. In July's already gone for the blink lasso. Initiation over on Moon. He doesn't have spin available. He'll have to get the Omni-Slash off if he wants to try and survive. But he's in around so much stuff. It's going to be completely new. And then Firefly, he'll run in the middle with the Spy Carapace. Moon back into the spin. Finger of Death does come out. But they even they didn't get the Soul Bind out in time. A Barra Strike, Epic Center for the Shallow Grave. They're keeping Lycan alive. Zyla, finally, he's going to die. But the rest of Maneski is going to join him in the afterlife. Uh, shit, slap, and actually pushed around up the hill. Ragey Potato will be the last one. And this may even just be the point where you think about calling the GG. We're not even 20 minutes into it, but five viewers will die. Lashrak is up. They can go for tier 4,000 and this right now. You've been around Rich way too long. Um, <laughs> he's a bad influence. KP oh, going to go for go. the epicenter. It's the oh, last one good. with the soul find the hold of Ninja Boogie. They've got the chain stuns. Two heroes down. No buyback in there for Sila. He's just straight out dead. And ASD, the man the silence with the Aegis, the immortal, stunned up, controlled, brought down. Four heroes lost from Sirius. Don't think, just do. Maneski, they'll get the chain stuns. They're going to bring down the big man. And you've got the finger to ensure it. Maneski. But Mineski did that entire fight without having to commit Song of the Siren. Mm -hmm. Well, the back lines, he got the break, got the follow-up stun, Lion, Omni Slash, Firefly, very isolated, but no, the one creep! It was there, Moon jumped over to it, so he can't actually get the follow-up. Ninja Boogie will die because Lycan's on the front lines, Moon will follow down as well. Of course, Sirius will mount a defense, they are so far in front of this game. This smoke has failed. Ajit, he has to oh, get out of it. here. He was going for the song of the siren. It got cancelled thanks to the Yule Scepter up for the Paris Rank and Soulbind with a finger of death. The kill is there, but it's only the Nyx Assassin. KP will die in return. A quick buyback from the Naga Siren. She's still got a song of the siren. She wants to get them out of this fight as well. ASD isolated. Ninja Boogie, he's keeping the control up, working with Ajit. Moon may not be so lucky to survive through this. He's got the spin and the retreat. The song of the siren is allowing for this. It's available. And July is coming for the fight. Stunned up, held back. 
I think now you actually have to accept the fact that Megas will be here. You need the stuns from the SK to make this work. Yeah. Moon. What have you got? Ensnare. Ice is enjoying over on the side. He can solo Omni Slash him. He's going to do exactly that. But does he have enough damage? Firefly comes over to try and tank up a little bit more of it. So does the Dazzle. And they do tank through it with the spin. Lion will fall. Five X is coming in from the Grimstroke. It's a great barrier strike from KP. Extra control, but there's no follow up. In fact, he's dead just straight away. Nothing more to give to this game from anyone from Maneski. They are surrounded on all sides. A double curve stun. All right. He's trained by Angelina Jolie, but uh, it won't matter. That's the game. It is 2 0 to see. Serious.